Ladies and gentlemen, I go by the name of Arlo Maverick and I'm a man of many hats who just happens to rap. Today we're talking about Canvas Radio. Now, as an independent artist, no matter what genre you're in, um, one of the most important outlets that you'll have as far as getting music out to people outside from your uh, social media networks and so on and so forth um, will be Campus Radio. And I say Campus Radio because of the fact that the DJs that you find at Campus Radio normally are DJs who um, are connected and involved in the scenes in their respective cities. They may be someone who works at a music store, they may be someone who writes a music blog, they may be somebody who um, works for the Weekly Rags, it could be somebody who is a DJ or a promoter or something of that nature. So um, having a relationship with them and forming one in the first place becomes so important because these are the people who, um, if they like your music and want to get behind your music, want to support you, then all of a sudden now you're tapping into their audience because they already have an audience. They have a show that possibly airs weekly, a show that has taken time to develop, and all of a sudden they have listeners who tune in. And if you make music that um, A is good and B um, fits within their um, show, then it ends up being uh, a benefit and a win-win for you. Essentially having the, the support of someone who actually controls what they play becomes so important because if they like your music and they're also in control of what they play on this show, they control the programming and all of a sudden now this person can get behind you. Um, you'll find that with a lot of commercial radio, that's um, a format that, that uh, lends itself more towards advertising. So a lot of the DJs who are on there, maybe they may be big fans of, of, of let's say most def, but they can't play most def because most def would not fit into that format. So they play what they have to play, where at a uh, campus radio station, there's a lot more control in the sense of what they can play. Um, one thing to keep in mind is if you're an independent artist, having music that is censored will allow you to get into more arenas. And I don't mean changing your lyrics and becoming a artist who doesn't curse or anything like that, but I'm talking about having radio edits uh, available for DJs. When radio edits are available to DJs, and guess what, you can be played at two o'clock in the evening and not have to worry about it. A DJ doesn't have to get your music and then be like, oh shoot, it's clean. In some markets, they're not gonna care. At certain times of night, they're not gonna care. But for the most part, having clean edits of your music and music that is not um, offensive in any way ends up allowing your music to reach more people and allows for that DJ to have more confidence uh, with you. Another thing to keep in mind about Campus Radio is chart activity. Um, if you go to uh, airshot-online.com or go to chartattack.com in Canada, you'll see the, the weekly charts that are posted for um, music that is charting different, uh, at different stations or charting nationally. They have a breakdown for different genres. And this becomes important because that chart activity is something that you could use for applying for grants, which kind of shows that, hey, like I'm getting airplay in these markets here. And granted, it's not a situation where you know how many times you're being played a week. It still shows the whole, still shows that you are getting support from DJs and still getting airplay, which is uh, introducing you to an audience. Um, and that outlet can help you start building fan bases in other markets. Because let's say you have an album that is doing really well in Kelowna, for example, and all of a sudden it's like, yo, when you go to route your tour, you now know that, hey, you have an audience of people in Kelowna who's familiar with your music, but you also have DJs who are who are, are behind your music. And if they're behind your music, then that means you could actually uh, go through and maybe do a radio interview, you know? Um, possibly do giveaways, contesting on their radio show because they are, they're already showing that support to you. Um, so building a relationship with, with DJs and music directors becomes so important. If there's gems that you feel that you were able to take from this or that you feel someone else can take from it, then please do not hesitate to share it. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to be constantly updated with um, this in addition to other things that I do. Uh, so until the next episode, peace.